we've got the Bloodhound Rocket Car Challenge next door. We've got all the different colleges here. We've got about 18 uh, in total uh, exhibitors here, exhibiting STEM activities. Very much interactive because we want the kids to get their hands on, get, get a real feel for uh, technology and engineering. Sergeant Scott Small, I'm from the Army Recruitment. Uh, we've got, today we've brought our Oculus Rifts for 3D headsets, virtual reality headsets, but the team that's with me today is also trained up and we work alongside with the Bloodhound for the Rocket Car Challenge. Yeah. And do you think today's going well and you're attracting lots of interest? Um, it's busy, the Oculus Rifts always attract the young ones because it's computer orientated and we get a really good bit of feedback from the Rocket Car Challenge as well. This is just going to build through the day. It's going to be fantastic. Hi, Thanks. I'm here with the Small Ridge and I manage the Tomorrow's Engineers Robotics Challenge, um, which is a challenge using Lego Mindstorms, and we're working with um, secondary schools across the UK. Um, we give them Lego Mindstorms and Lego space themed models and they have to complete a number of challenges. They have to complete uh, a presentation. We are the team from St. Margaret's Academy and we've done our presentation on how can humans survive in space. Food in space may be candle wrapped in aluminum foil. It may freeze dried, low moisture, pre cooked or dehydrated. If it is dehydrated it cannot be eaten until the astronauts add hot water to it. This project helped members of our team in many ways, such as developing problem solving skills, making new friends, building self esteem and having a better understanding of space. I know from fe feedback from the teachers that They've actually said that it's helped to um, change perception of careers in science and engineering, which um, some students are thinking about taking physics uh, instead of other choices at their um, ex in their exams. Um, so that's a really good impact in you know for, from my perspective. There's a lot of students as well that have um, you know might have issues speaking publicly and today they've presented in front of strangers so that's an absolute brilliant skill that they've developed today and this program has helped them to come out of the shell and develop those skills. My name is Patrick McGrory, I'm the Quality Enhancement Lecturer at West College Scotland Automotive Department and we're here promoting the Bloodhound project today. I'm Colin Goffin, I'm also from West College Scotland and we're here say, to promote the Bloodhound project. So we've been working with from Inverness and Highlands and Islands down to Dumfries Basically, the line from Bills of Scotland, we've been um, either doing video calls or WebEx or phone or whatever, and running our own race days as well with our own kids. So, I think we've seen about maybe 200 kids or so already. At least, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we're supporting the other hubs that have possibly get around about the same amount of kids. So, yeah, it's a nationwide thing. And that's what this is about. It's about inspiring engineers of tomorrow. And by running projects like this, we feel we are inspiring engineers of tomorrow, maybe inspire them to look into engineering as a career and if we can do that then we've done our job. Right, we're just coming up with our designs for what we want it to look like. <laughs> But they know that they're building, they're building the cars in the right sort of shapes. And they, all we've got to do now is take them outside, put a rocket in them and see what kind of speed we're getting out of them. Three, two, one. See, 
you won the challenge. Yeah, yeah. How fast did your car go? And 54 miles an hour. 54 miles an hour? Yeah. Is that fast? Very fast? Um, I think so. Not, not fast. Not fast for a normal car, but I think for one of these it's quite good.